Hey guys, if you're looking to set up the canopy and tub in the back of your four wheel drive, then hopefully this video gives you a few good ideas. Today I'm gonna to show you all the way through the back of my canopy, uh, what I've done, how I've set it up, what I've got in there, and uh, show you what works and what doesn't work. About a year ago, I was setting the car up for a massive trip out to the Big Red Bash in Birdsville, and I did a whole bunch of different videos, setting up different things in the canopy. I've got dual battery systems, uh, the awning, I've got the floor, all that sort of stuff. But today, I just wanna give you an overview of how it all looks now, 12 months down the track, and what is working and what isn't working or what I might change. So come on, let's take a look. So the first thing I wanna show you is just the draw system, so the base of the, the tub. Now typically when you're setting up a canopy, a lot of people would put a 1300 long draw system in, but in mine, I've only got a 900 draw system. So that means I've got a fair bit of space behind the drawers, which I could utilize for other stuff. So rather than just having two massive long drawers full of gear, I've got some space in the back, which I've used for a 60 liter water tank and a second battery. So that's hiding under a subfloor which I've built. I built a frame there, I've got a video on that so you can have a look at that video and see exactly what I've done in the back of the, back of the canopy there uh, to house the water tank and house the, the battery. These drawers here were a secondhand set of drawers that I picked up. Uh, they're a Black Widow brand of drawer. So they had two sets of wings. I only put the wing on the left hand side here and on the right, I just kept that open because it's a good space. I can slot a jerry can in there. I often go, you know, on the weekend to get fuel for the mower and stuff like that. So I can just slot my jerry can in there, stands up nicely. Um, when I go forward driving, sometimes I'll take a small chainsaw that just sits down there nicely, bits of timber if I'm going camping for campfires, things like that. So uh, having that little bit of space there like that is quite good, I like that. Um, under the wing on the left hand side here, it's easy to just take your cover off. Under there I just keep basic stuff that I wanna grab if I need to, like I've got jumper leads, uh, the hose for my water tank, which will plug into that outlet over here, snatch strap, puncture repair kit, things like that. So in this setup here, I've got a nice little fridge slide, and on the fridge slide, I've got a 60 litre King's fridge. Now that fridge there, a lot of people question um, whether King's fridges are any good and how long they last and all that sort of stuff. Well, I can tell you now that I bought that fridge uh, in late 2016. So, you know, it's about eight years old now. Uh, in 2017, I took off around Australia with my family and I had that set um, as a freezer for the whole way around. So we had frozen meat and everything in there. 12 months solid, didn't miss a beat. And I've been using it on and off ever since. But since I've had the canopy set up, it's been running nonstop now for over a year and uh, has been absolutely perfect. Although I will say I had to have it repaired once. The uh, Thermista or Thermostat, I think it is, I had to get that repaired. So that was just a local guy fix that for me, no problem at all. With the fridge being the way that it is, um, not having an upright that you can just open and close, which uh, you can have in other canopies, but the tub, I guess you've got to have this style on a slide or a drop down would be probably more convenient. But because this one is on this and it's so high, I've got like a little fold out stool here, which cost me about 10 bucks. So I can drop that on the ground. Helps me just reach into the fridge a bit um, if I need to get something, especially when it's right down the bottom. On the back of the fridge, I've just got a little broom there for wiping off feet, sand and stuff like that. Bottle opener, a few carabiners. Um, yeah, but the King's fridge has been good. Uh, just in the drawers here, the left hand side drawer, just a whole bunch of knickknacks and stuff. Got a couple of toolboxes down the back. Um, can pull the drawer out, access it this way, or if I've got the fridge slide out, like that, I can see it from the back of the fridge slide as well from that window. Uh, this drawer over here, I mostly use uh, just for camera gear. I do, you know, I'm a bit of a photographer, just a hobby. I like doing a bit of surf photography or landscape photography, that sort of stuff. Um, nothing serious, just for fun. Uh, a few YouTube videos here and there too. Next at the back of the car, you can see my canopy lights. So that's a Oh, I think it was about $40 from uh, King's Supercenter um, camp lights. I've got a video on setting that up. Um, that's just tapped into a switch on the side here. So that's my light switch. Uh, I've also got an orange one there too. Um, those, those lights have been fantastic. They've been really good. Um, the only thing I find is sometimes these little clips that are holding up the wires occasionally let go. And uh, I've just got to fix those up from time to time. 
but the lights themselves on the double-sided tape, surprisingly, they've not come down. They've actually stayed up and worked really well. So, um, yeah, I love those camp lights. They're awesome. So looking in the back of the tub here, uh, you can see this hose here. That's uh, the connection to the water tank or I tap into that. I've got the switch for the pump on the switch panel on the side over there. So I can flick that on and then the, uh, the pump starts to send water out the back, which is awesome. I'll just... So right at the back here of the tub, I've got this frame, like I said, I've set up. Um, lift the lid, you've got access to that water bladder. If I need to fill the bladder up, I've got two ways of doing it. I've got this here that I could, if I'm filling up with a jerry can or something like that, I can pour water into that. Uh, whereas if I've got access to a tap and a hose, I can just plug the hose in here and just fill it up that way. Yeah, that Drifter Stockton water bladder has been awesome. I love it. Uh, when you're down the beach and you want to hose the salt off or rinse your feet off or something like that, it's perfect. Um, give the dog a drink, fill his bowl up. I haven't used it for drinking water. I really just use it for rinsing off and washing off stuff if I need to, or water for the jug, the kettle. One thing I'd probably change on that is the size of the pump. The pump's a bit small, so it doesn't really pump out too much pressure. So I'd probably just change that and just get a big one. So I'll just climb up into the back of the canopy here just to give you a quick look. That's the hatch for the second battery. So that's my um, lithium battery, 120 amp hour lithium from Kings. Uh, it's been perfect. I haven't had any issues with that. Uh, there's a bit of extra space down there. I'd probably um, look at maybe putting an air compressor in there. I haven't got around to doing it just yet, but wouldn't mind having an air compressor there with a lead out the back. So just looking over to this side here, I've got my King switch panel. I've got a hardcore 40 amp DC to DC charger. Uh, the switch panel's great. Like I said, I've got my lights here. Uh, water pump is just there if I need that. I've got USB points here, which are great because I can plug my phone in or battery charges or anything like that. I've got space down here. I can sit things down there, plug it in and let it charge while I'm driving around. Works really well. I've got uh, a couple of hooks I just put in this board here. Um, I hang a couple of torches off there, head torch work light. Um, I've got a bag here which is just filled full of extra leads and bits and pieces. So charging leads, uh, leads for the fridge. One thing um, I'll show you that I did with the fridge lead is in the bottom of the, uh, the panel there I've got an Anderson plug so that uh, King's fridge I've, uh, I've cut the lead in half and uh, put an Anderson on uh, either end of that uh, cut section. So I can use the cigarette end of it if I need to, or I've got the Anderson plug there, which plugs into the bottom of the switchboard. Another little hack there, I put a bit of uh, Velcro, um, sticky Velcro just on the bottom of little cigarette lighters. So they just stick to the top of that carpet, which is great. So if I need to, uh, Get a hand, get my hands on a cigarette lighter, I can do that. I don't smoke, they're just for campfires. On this window here, I just put this uh, bit of insulation there. It just stops people from being able to look through and see what's inside the, the canopy from that side. It also just keeps a bit of heat out if the sun's on this side of the canopy. Um, just stops any sun from, I guess, deteriorating any of this, which is good. So when I purchased my car, it didn't have any roof racks. So I picked up a set second hand locally off uh, somebody who'd taken them off their Hilux. So I've got three roof racks there. I've put a Drifter Stockton awning on the side. Uh, it's a 270 freestanding awning. I love it. It's an amazing awning. It's really good. Um, and I've also got a 160 watt King solar panel on the roof, um, which is keeping that battery charged. Now, like I said, that fridge has been running nonstop for over 12 months and it hasn't missed a beat. So that whole system is working really well. So guys, that's about it. That's about uh, everything I think I've got to show you around the back of my canopy. Um, I've got to say, I love the setup. It's been awesome. Uh, it's easy to get uh, in and out of. It's very accessible. Um, can get my hands on most things pretty quickly. Um, and I don't think there's anything that I would go back and change to be honest I'm pretty happy with the way it's all set up. If you've got any questions Yeah, happy to answer them for you if, uh, if I can 
uh, drop a comment below. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you did get something out of it and I hope it, uh, I hope it does help you uh, with your own canopy setup and gives you a few ideas. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And uh, yeah, go and share this video with a friend too if you know they've got a canopy that they need setting up. Shoot it to them and hopefully they get something out of it. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll catch you next time. Cheers. Thank you.